Stop forcing down those protein shakes. You might be shocked how little protein you actually need to build muscle. In this video, I'm going to break down exactly how much protein you really need to pack on muscle, and it's probably not as extreme as you've been told. Forget the bro science and conflicting advice for a moment. We're looking at real science and practical tips here. If you've ever heard one guy say, you need a gram of protein per pound of body weight, and another say, nah, that's overkill, stick around. By the end of this, you'll know the sweet spot for protein intake to maximize your muscle gains without wasting money or effort. And yes, while I'm focusing on the average guy, ladies, this applies to you too. Muscle is muscle. Why protein matters, but it's not magic. Let's get one thing straight. Protein is crucial for building muscle. Think of protein as the bricks and mortar for your muscle fibers. When you work out, you create tiny tears in your muscles, and protein helps repair and rebuild them bigger and stronger. In fact, protein is found in every single cell of your body, and your muscles crave it after a hard workout. If you don't give your body enough protein, it might start breaking down your existing muscle to get what it needs, definitely not what you want when you're trying to bulk up. This is why people say you need a positive nitrogen balance or to eat more protein than you break down. Simply put, to gain muscle, you need to supply more protein than your body is losing. But hold on, protein isn't a magic potion that instantly inflates your biceps. It's just one piece of the puzzle. You also need serious training effort and enough total calories. Chugging protein shakes while sitting on the couch won't make your muscles grow. Trust me, back in my early gym days, I tried that. I thought a nightly protein shake would give me big guns by itself. Spoiler, it didn't. You build muscle by challenging your muscles through exercise and then feeding them protein to recover. Do both and you'll see results. The big protein question, how much do you really need? All right, so we know protein is important. Now for the million dollar question. How much protein do you actually need to maximize muscle growth? If you ask five different gym bros, you'll get five different answers. Some swear by at least one gram per pound of body weight. So a 180 pound guy would shoot for 180 grams of protein every day. Others say you can get away with a lot less. It's confusing, I get it. Let's clear up the confusion with some facts. The official recommended dietary allowance, RDA, for protein is only 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight. For an average guy who weighs about 70 kilograms, 154 pounds, that's roughly 56 grams of protein a day, barely two chicken breasts. But here's the catch. That RDA number is just the minimum to prevent deficiency and muscle loss in sedentary people. In other words, 56 grams a day is enough to keep you alive and at status quo, but it won't pack on muscle. If you're hitting the gym and trying to bulk up, you definitely need more than that. So how much more? Well, scientists have been busy studying this exact topic. Finally, something useful from science for us lifters, right? Multiple studies have found that increasing your protein intake, paired with resistance training, leads to additional gains in lean mass and strength. No surprise there, but research also shows there's a point where the benefits level off. One comprehensive 2022 analysis concluded that muscle gains tend to plateau once you reach roughly 1.5 to 1.6 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. Eating more than that didn't show significant extra benefit in that review. To put it in simpler terms, about 1.6 grams per kilogram is roughly 0.7 to 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight. So if you weigh 180 pounds, about 82 kilograms, that plateau point would be around 130 grams of protein a day. In fact, experts say the optimal protein intake for muscle building falls in the range of about 1.2 to 1.6 grams per kilogram of body weight. For a 180 pound guy, that's roughly 98 to 130 grams of protein daily to maximize growth. Now you might be thinking, Wait, I've heard I should eat one gram per pound. Isn't 130 grams a lot less than that for a 180 pound dude? You're right. 
130 grams is under the old one gram per pound rule of thumb. Here's the deal. The one gram per pound guideline is a bit of a safety net, and it's easy to remember. There's nothing wrong with eating that much protein if you want to. In fact, many bodybuilders still stick to it. But science says you probably don't need that much to maximize muscle, especially if tilde 130 grams will do the trick. Think of it this way. Building muscle is like building a house. Once you have enough bricks to finish the house, adding more bricks to the pile doesn't make the house any bigger. Similarly, once you're eating around that 0.7 to 0.8 grams per pound range, extra protein isn't going to magically build more muscle beyond what your training is stimulating. So yes, more protein helps up to a point, but more isn't endlessly better. Your muscles can only use so much protein for growth in a given day. Any surplus beyond what you need for repair and growth either gets used for energy, or if you're in a big calorie surplus, might even be stored as fat. Protein has calories too, after all. Quality and timing, do they matter? Before you dump your protein shake down the sink, let's address a couple of things. Protein quality and protein timing. Not all protein sources are equal, but the good news is you have plenty of options that can all help build muscle. High quality proteins, like lean meats, fish, eggs, dairy, or soy, provide all the essential amino acids your muscles need. These are like complete toolkits for building muscle. If you're vegetarian or vegan, you can absolutely build muscle too. You might just need to mix and match plant proteins, say rice with beans or peanut butter on whole wheat bread, to get all those building blocks. And of course, protein powders, whey, casein, pea, etc., are there to help if you can't get enough from food. The key is hitting your daily protein target consistently, whether it's through chicken, tofu, beans, or a protein shake. Now, what about timing? You've probably seen guys at the gym frantically downing a shake the second they re-rack their weights, swearing by the so-called anabolic window. The truth? Total daily protein is far more important than perfect timing. You don't have to chug a shake within five minutes of your last rep. As long as you get enough protein over the course of the day, you're golden. Muscle protein synthesis stays elevated for many hours after your workout. So yes, it's a good idea to have some protein in the couple of hours after exercise, but you won't turn into a pumpkin if you wait a bit longer. Also, no need to set an alarm to eat protein every two hours. Your body can absorb and use protein throughout the day. In fact, a major review on protein distribution concluded that to maximize muscle building, you could aim for about 0.4 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per meal, spread across four meals. That works out to roughly 25 to 30 grams of protein per meal for many guys. This approach helps ensure your muscles get a steady supply of amino acids, and it conveniently hits that total of approximately 1.6 grams per kilogram per day when you add it all up. But don't overthink it. Whether you have three meals or six meals, and whether your post-workout shake is immediately after training or later on, it's far less important than your total protein intake each day. Consistency beats timing precision every time. Beware of the extremes. All right, let's talk about the extremes. On one end, we have the undereaters. Maybe you're trying to lose weight and you're only getting like 50 grams of protein a day, or you just don't realize how little protein is in that bowl of cereal you had for breakfast. If that's you, building muscle is going to be an uphill battle. As we said, if you chronically undereat protein, your body might even start cannibalizing muscle tissue to meet its basic needs. Not ideal. The fix. Start incorporating protein-rich foods in each meal. It could be as simple as adding Greek yogurt, eggs, or a scoop of protein powder to your routine. On the other end, we have the overeaters. The guys blending up mega shakes with three scoops of whey, eating a dozen eggs for breakfast, and carrying around a gallon jug of BCAAs like it's their baby. Newsflash! More protein isn't automatically more muscle especially once you're already in that optimal range. There are downsides to going way overboard, 
extremely high protein intakes, imagine consistently eating more than about 2 grams per kilogram of body weight per day, won't make you gain extra muscle and could put unnecessary strain on your body. Now don't freak out. For a healthy adult, eating a lot of protein is generally safe up to about that 2 grams per kilogram mark. Your kidneys won't spontaneously combust if you have a couple of protein shakes a day. The whole high protein ruins your kidneys thing is mostly a myth in healthy people. But megadosing protein, like 3 plus grams per kilogram every single day, might lead to issues over time, and at the very least, it's a waste of good chicken breast and your hard-earned money. So what's the sweet spot? For most men trying to build muscle, aim for that 1.2 to 1.6 grams per kilogram range, roughly 0.5 to 0.7 grams per pound of body weight per day. That ensures you're getting enough protein to maximize growth without overdoing it. If you really love protein foods or you're in a hardcore training phase, going up to approximately 0.8 grams per pound, around 1.8 grams per kilogram, is fine too, but likely not necessary for the average person. And if you're a bit under your target on a given day, don't stress. Just try to hit it consistently in the long run. The bottom line, the TLDR of all this. You need enough protein to build muscle, but you don't need to go crazy with it. For most guys, that magic number lands around 0.7 grams of protein per pound of body weight per day, approximately 1.5 grams per kilogram. Hit that consistently, pair it with challenging workouts, and you will gain muscle. It's that simple. No need to force feed yourself 10 chicken breasts a day or gulp down raw eggs like Rocky. Remember, building muscle is a marathon, not a sprint. Consistency and patience are your friends. It's better to eat a reasonable high-protein diet every day and train regularly than to do some extreme protein binge once in a while. So next time someone at the gym insists that you need 300 grams of protein a day because more is better, you can smile, shake your head, and know that science has your back on this one. Now you know the truth about how much protein you really need to build muscle. Use this knowledge to tweak your diet and truly fuel your gains. You've got the blueprint. Now it's on you to put it into action.